All right, here we are on October 27th. I can't believe November is right around the corner. Next couple of months will be light trading months because we'll have a lot of holidays mixed in. But uh, it's usually, usually the markets are pretty nice, so to trade November. December gets a little bit uh, slower towards the end, but still usually pretty good markets. So looking forward to that. Right now we're looking at my combines. This is my lead combine at $51,683, more than halfway there. Looking at 57% winning days, but I only have seven days in here. And you can see the chart, how it's kind of been going. Kind of cruising right here the last couple of days. Not not a whole lot of action because um, I didn't trade gold in there. Bitcoin doesn't move a whole lot, but uh, gold gives me my bigger my bigger boost as far as profit goes right now. But yeah, so far so good. Once we get into the Top Step X um, platform, you'll see the rest of the combines down below. Currently copy trading five combines. I started with two just to test it out and then uh, added the other ones slowly as it went. So this one will probably uh, pass first, then I'll get the rest of them passed, and then I'll move them all into the XFA and get the XFA going with copy trading five XFA accounts. These are 50K accounts. So uh, I got a, a question from, I believe it's Poppy Gus 5027 I'm sorry if I said that wrong, but I believe that's how it is. So the first one is, what are you using for a trade copier? So Top Step X, their trade platform. When you sign up with Top Step, when you sign up with Top Step, you have an option to go with Ninja Trader and some other platforms, or their proprietary platform, Top Step X. And I've chosen Top Step X. Um, it's really simple to use. It doesn't interfere with Rhythmic. Doesn't even use Rhythmic. Um, and the trade copier is a part of that platform. You just go and you literally click, 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 click the different um, combines you want to copy, and then it automatically copy trades for you. Super simple. Like it's, yeah, it's a no brainer. I'll show you once we get into Top Step X, uh, what that looks like, but yeah, extremely easy. I mean, it can't get any easier to copy trade with Top Step X. The next question that Poppy Gus uh, 5027 asks is, um, why would I choose to switch to a real live account versus trading 550K XFA accounts? All right, so had you asked me this question a year ago, you would have got a completely different answer. I'd have been like, why would you want to copy trade five accounts? <laughs> so my answer would have been, why not just have one account and buy more contracts? So, um, but the answer to your question is, I prefer to sit to copy trade accounts. But with Top Step, what happens is, once you've been trading in your XFAs, they determine when you move to a live account. So I've already moved to a live account my first time around. Um, you know, once they feel like you should be in a live account, there's no option. You're in a live account. And you only get one of those. So what you're watching right now with these combines is I've started over and I'm going through with combines again and copy trading them. But yeah, you don't have a choice. But yes, if I could trade, if I could stay with trading five accounts, copy trading, where I can visually feel like I'm risking $250 a trade, but end up making $1,200, that's uh, from a psychological standpoint, copy trading is awesome. The reality is you could get the same results just by having more contracts in an account. But when you look at the uh, drawdowns and stuff like that, risking $250 on a 50K account, I'm basically risking 25% of my max account loss. Whereas if I wanted to, and then as and being able to put on a risk one to, to one reward, right? Re one risk to one reward, $250 is only 25% of my account. And at the same time, I can end up making with that same trade $1,250 because I have five accounts there. Whereas if I wanted to try to do that with just one account and I was risking one to make one and only taking one trade, I would have to risk more than my DLL and more than 50% of my account's max loss limit through the combines. So it's definitely, there's so many benefits to copy trading. So that's just a couple snapshots right there. But long way around on your on your question is yes, I would rather uh, not go into a live account trading with a prop firm if I could stay with the uh, the copy trading five accounts. The one benefit of going into a live market once you're trading in a live uh, market as your account warrants, you can change what's going on with your account. You can re request to be able to take 20 contracts, 50 contracts, whatever. Um, you can request to change your D D your DLL and say, you know, I want a $10,000 daily loss limit and I want to trade 50 contracts. As long as your account could support it and your trade habits support it, 
they'll review it and and most likely would approve you if they felt like it was a good it was a good way to go so you have that option when you get into a live account which is also pretty nice so hopefully that answers your question and for those of you watching my videos if you have questions put them in the chat i love getting questions that i can answer here at the opening of each one of my trade videos all right so let's get into today's trades all right so here we are in the morning session october 28th getting ready to trade bitcoin to the short side so i got my little uh thing on the chart here staged ready to go I'll see when this um looking at the 15 minute candle on my other chart but looking at the five minute right here is what you're seeing i'm waiting for that 15 minute candle to close and that will confirm a few things for me but looking for this uh, support area to break and make a run down to this uh, pocket somewhere down here maybe even all the way down here we'll see We've got a couple minutes left Whenever you're looking at my charts, if you're wondering what the time of day is, you can see at the bottom here moving back and forth, but there's also a clock right here and candles closing and opening. You can see right there. And then you can see my accounts down here where they're all the accounts are at right now. Going to go two contracts. We've got about, uh, about a minute left, minute and a half left before I can enter this trade. So um, to follow up on that copy trading thing over here, it's on the sprocket with top step. I can go to um, copy trading and then I select all the accounts I want to copy trade and that's it. And then I just have to make sure up here my lead account is on. So if I click over here, you got all the different accounts. So these are F for follow and L for lead. I got the lead account. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Just copy trading all of them. But if I wanted to have one of them specifically to be the lead account, then I would have to do that. Uh, make sure that I have, you know, which one is the lead account. All right. New 15 minute candle just opened. Gonna get short. I was gonna let it retrace a little bit, but I think I'm just gonna get short. Order filled. All right, so I thought I was gonna put those orders in for me. It did, okay, there we go. So now I'm gonna move them up to where, roughly they're gonna go, but I'm gonna adjust that here in just a second. All right, so it's about a risk one to make a little more than two. So pretty sweet. Yeah, I should've waited for that retrace. I was like, man, maybe I should wait for the retrace of that 15 minute candle, because it's kind of big. And uh, would have been good to wait. I'd be getting in just about, yeah, right now. Now would be the entry uh, to get in on that retrace. But we'll see what this trade does. Might be a loser. Um, all good. Just playing the numbers. I'm going to let it ride. I'll bring the conclusion to you. All right. I'm going to step out and go get lunch and uh, bring the conclusion to you. And we'll just let this thing uh, do its thing. And hopefully top step X exits my trade if I hit the target and doesn't leave that other order open and all that good stuff. I guess we'll find out what happens. Okay, just got back from lunch. It looks like looks like we took a loss on the Bitcoin trade right here, seventy seven or seventy one dollar loss. Exited the trade right there and uh, still just going sideways. Bitcoin, and we're out. Okay, give me a jump into gold here, long just for a small scalp on gold, maybe even short. We'll see which direction it goes. But getting long, we're just looking for a run back near the top of this. The, the challenge is this is what we could be looking at. Are we starting to put in lower lows or lower highs rather? Are we starting to put in lower highs? But a little bump to right here would get me everything I'm looking for. So right now we're looking at the uh, five minute candles. Got a minute left for this candle to close. Just thinking about going red. We do have a nice support here. This would be a better entry for a long trade with the ability to reverse it to the short side. But uh, I may jump in right here. I don't want to do two contracts. I can't see. I'm missing the move. All right. Bye. Order filled. Missing the move. I wanted to get in right at the break of that. All right. Well, it is what it is. Here we go. Gold. Let's go gold. Up, up, and away. One contract gold long. Looking for a tag somewhere up there in that trend line. All right. One contract long gold. Looking for a tag into this trend line right here. Just a small move. See if we can get it quickly. Okay, here we go. Tagging it. Come on, go push through a little more. I'm going to drop my... What have we got there? Four minutes left. Man. Maybe I missed the opportunity, traders. Should have brought that uh, other order down to it. It's kind of nice when you have your... On top step X, they show you what your, your deal is. So I put my stop here. I'm risking $130. My target, if it's here, is $160. Kind of cool to do that. 
Yeah, that was uh, that was the move right there. I might have missed it. Looking for another opportunity to get in there. I just hate getting stopped, limit taking a limit order. I like to get stopped out because then I feel like I give it at least a chance to to go, to go beyond my target. Okay, I'm gonna drop it in there, lock that in. That's the scalp I was looking for. So now let's see if we get some bonus money. It's right at the top here. Get a breakout. Did that? Order okay, filled. there we go. All right, so out of that trade, so that's going to bring me uh, now to uh, $5.68 in profit on the day. No more red day. Now it's a green day, $5. $5 green day is better than a $100 red day. All right, that's going to do it for today, traders. I will see you tomorrow.